now uh, let's create a sales uh, chart. Uh, we want to see the sales over time. So here is a new chart. We're going to get the sales, which is revenue. And then we also want to look at it by the date of the sales. It's under orders table. Uh, we can use order date. If you hold on the control and select order date, and then the show me part will show you the possible uh, diagram you can use. So I will try to use this. So it is by year at this moment. You can drill down to quarter or month. So I will settle with month. Uh, we also want to be able to look at this uh, by different country. So let's find the country again. We can just drag the country, drop it onto the diagram. All right. So each line represent a specific country. So this is USA, and uh, this is Germany. Okay. We can also do the same color coding. Uh, again, the revenue onto color. Use the red gold color. Right? Darker means higher sales. So we can call this sales uh, monthly sales. By country. And now let's add a uh, dashboard to put them together, uh, side, uh, one on top of another. So that's a dashboard. So we'll drag both of them, sales by country first, and then monthly sales by country. Uh, I want it to be on the bottom. I can make this a little bit bigger. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I can always go back. So make this smaller, make this a little bit oops, uh, bigger. Oops, sorry. Okay. And now, if we want to add some interactivity, so when you choose a country here, it will be highlighted in the bottom. We need to do this in the dashboard. Analysis actions and create a new action. That will be highlight. So the source will be the chart uh, sales by country. So when we click something in sales by country or country, then the highlight will be applied to monthly sales by country. Let's see if that's the way it is. Uh, you can change the name, I guess, uh, to a uh, highlight uh, monthly sales when choosing country. All right. So we are selecting USA, so this is uh, highlighted. If we choose, uh, let's see, Germany, where's Germany? Let's zoom in. Germany is here. So that's Germany. You can also choose both by hold down control when clicking. Then you can compare monthly sales of USA and Germany side by side. And you can see sometimes the sales trend are similar. Sometimes the sales trend are actually opposite. So for example, from March to April, 
and then uh, in May, Germany sales has been increasing, but for USA in the same time frame, the sales has been decreasing, and then USA sales bounce back, while Germany sales just start to slide down. Uh, so that's some interesting pattern you probably want to investigate more. But this is basically how you do them. And the last thing, well, let's save first. Save to the Tableau public. Override it. So you have this view, uh, the dashboard, and uh, we probably can share this dashboard. So that's um, the link. Copy this, and let's see how this looks like. I just enter zoom out a little bit. So anyone enter this URL, they can see this view and they can do any analysis they want. It's very interactive. So you can choose a country, it will highlight the sales, choose another one. You can choose any of them. You can put them side by side, see if uh, Germany and France, right? You can see them side by side. All right, so that's, um, hopefully that's very interesting to you. Uh, I think it's quite interesting. All right.